Hey everyone, welcome to another video review from the Roundtable DAO. Today we're going to talk about an exciting new project called Panther Protocol. In a nutshell, Panther offers the highest level of privacy for crypto transactions, while also ensuring their users are able to comply with legal obligations. Something like this could potentially change the whole landscape of DeFi. So, who would use such a thing? Well, basically everyone. The range here is from individuals looking for privacy when managing their money to financial institutions. These institutions need privacy for strategic reasons. Obviously, businesses have privacy concerns, but also they have to use solutions that allow them to comply with financial regulations, which is another rapidly changing landscape. But let's take a step back from the trees and look at the forest for a moment. In the early days of blockchain tech, there was only Bitcoin, and for quite a while, very few people had heard of it. Fewer still understood it, and we all wish we had invested in it back then. Today, 12 years after the creation of Bitcoin, many blockchains exist, and most of them share one core feature, which is that they rely on a public ledger that allows anyone to track any address and any transaction forever. They're only pseudo-anonymous, because if someone manages to link one address to an individual or an organization, then the whole web can be tracked and all their financial history in the blockchain can then be recovered. Some cryptocurrencies like Zcash and Monero were created specifically to prevent this from happening, and they offer various levels of anonymity. For example, Zcash offers shielded transactions, and Monero hides addresses, balances, transaction amounts, and account history. So what's the problem then? Well, unfortunately, these blockchains don't offer DeFi options, and this limits their usage, mainly to asset transfers. So now, as we do, let's take another step back moment and ask, what is decentralized finance or DeFi and why does it matter? Well, simply put, it's the name given to when traditional financial activities like the borrowing and lending is done in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion on the blockchain. This means there is no need for any middlemen like a bank or a payment processor. Now, for example, on the Ethereum blockchain, smart contracts are used to execute the different steps of borrowing, paying interest to lenders, liquidation, and so on. Since the beginning of 2020, the amount of money deployed in DeFi has multiplied by more than 200-fold to about $250 billion today. This could be just the beginning of a much larger wave if only institutional money could flow in freely. Let's just take a moment here to say that bringing this content to you is only possible through your support. It doesn't take much, though. A simple like and subscribe goes a long way and is greatly appreciated. All right, let's jump right in. As we mentioned earlier, most DeFi applications are on transparent blockchains like Ethereum, which leaves DeFi users vulnerable to scary stuff like surveillance and economic espionage. At the present time, this is true on all levels, from the small trader to a large institution. No one is safe from potential scrutiny, which could lead to having their strategies get reverse engineered or even front run. Now, along with this transparency, as we mentioned earlier, Another issue with current DeFi protocols is that they don't provide their users with the proper tools to comply with financial regulations. Now, who does that affect primarily? Well, the DeFi space is still unfriendly for financial businesses because they have legal obligations to enforce, like know your customer and anti-money laundering policies. So how do we get past this? Well, DeFi needs a solution that preserves privacy and is compliance friendly. This will allow the biggest actors of traditional finance to enter the space. So as we said at the beginning of this video, Panther Protocol aims to solve these issues. On the one hand, it's a protocol that's built to provide its users with the highest level of privacy. But on the other hand, those who use it can choose to disclose information about themselves, those who use it to service providers or whoever they want in order to comply with these financial regulations. In short, Panther Protocol is an end-to-end -end privacy protocol for digital assets, which can be deployed in a compliant way on any public blockchain. Your ears may have perked up at that last part, and we'll circle back to it in a bit. Let's have a look at the team behind the project. Oliver Gale, Dr. Anish Muhammad, and Ramadan Amin are the dream team who manage the Panther Project. Their LinkedIn profiles are pretty amazing. Oliver, co-founder and CEO, is a serial entrepreneur with a lot of stuff in his CV. He's president and co-founder of Stone Digital, a digital merchant bank focused on real estate securitization. He's a co-founder and former CEO of Elemental, 
which is a Web 3.0 credit lending platform. He's a managing partner and co-founder of Base2. It's an investment firm focused on digital assets. Co-founder of Bit, the world's first central bank digital currency network provider. And this one is relevant to our subject at hand. He's an advisor to Beam, the Mimblewimble privacy-focused crypto. Anish, the co-founder and CTO, has 20 plus years experience in the security and cryptography field. He was an early advisor to the Ripple team. He reviewed the Ethereum Orange Paper. He worked on several projects, including Ocean and Boson, and is the co-founder of the UK Digital Currency Association. Ramadan is the head of operations and finance, a former Air Force major and startup fractional CFO. His resume includes five years at BlackRock, working on relationships across the whole institutional spectrum. We could continue and talk about the Panther chief architect, lead cryptographer, head of product, and all the senior architects, engineers, developers in this team, but I imagine you get the picture by now. These guys are heavyweights. If you would like to suggest an AMA with any of them, let us know in the comments. And be sure to like this video and subscribe for more updates. So this team is amazing. What have they built? Panther Protocol's major features are zero-knowledge solutions for privacy and compliance friendliness. This is achieved by allowing you, the user, to select what information and how much of it you want to disclose to each of the parties you're interacting with. As I mentioned earlier, Panther is a cross-chain solution. As of right now, they've already implemented Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Binance Smart Chain, Polkadot, Avalanche, and Flare, and the plan is for Panther to continue and add even more level one blockchains. This next diagram here shows you in detail how a user can make any non-private asset private through the use of the Panther pools. In this example, the user deposits Ethereum into a Panther vault. At this point, the transaction is not private since Ethereum is a public blockchain. But what happens next is completely hidden to any third party observer since it happens on the Panther blockchain. Panther smart contracts mint what they call a Z asset in a dedicated pool and send it back to the user. In our example, ZETH is minted on a one-for-one -one basis and sent from the ZETH pool to the user's private Panther wallet. The user can now deploy ZETH into any DeFi contract. Boom. Privacy. The Panther team calls these multi-asset shielded pools. Simply put, they allow users to send any assets from the supported chains. So the user can mint ZBTC, ZStables, ZNFTs, etc. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now what is the technology backing this state-of-the-art privacy? Panther Protocol relies on zero-knowledge solutions for privacy, and more precisely, ZK-SNARK, which stands for Zero Knowledge Succinct Non-Interactive Argument of Knowledge. In short, though, these solutions allow the user to be able to prove to a third party that a statement is true without disclosing any information apart from the fact that the statement is indeed true. And therein lies the zero-knowledge part. The end result is that a user transaction in the Panther network cannot be linked to and it cannot be observed. This means that a third party observer cannot backtrace the origin of the transaction, know its timing, or even whether it happened at all. So in summary, Panther combines several protected entry points and crypto privacy mechanisms, which gives it a significant advantage in the market of privacy tokens. We can see it outperforms the other available solutions like Zcash and Tornado Cash. Let's list all of Panther's privacy features again. It's got shielded transactions, privacy assets or Z assets, private cross-chain bridging, verifiable credentials, zero knowledge and selective disclosures, a game theoretic pricing model, stealth addresses, and multi-asset shielded pools. And of course Panther is fully compatible with global KYC and AML regulations through the use of what they call the Panther Metastrate the ZK data layer where users choose what to disclose. This is the feature that makes Panther much more than a garden variety privacy enabling protocol. We think that Panther may well become the leading private finance protocol on the market. Now let's take a look at the roadmap. In quarter three of 2021, they introduced an initial protocol supporting the core Panther functions with Ethereum as the first peer chain. In quarter four of 2021, they implemented the basic DeFi features relating to trust and compliance, 
as well as community voting via the Panther DAO. At the time of this recording, which is quarter one of 2022, new features for the on-chain governance mechanism are being added, together with the foundations of an interchain private decentralized exchange, along with the first batch of service and trust providers. Later phases will bring more peer chains, a privacy pricing mechanism, and eventually anonymous liquidity pools. You can see here that Panther Protocol has a huge number of backers. A195, Rarestone, X Network, just some of the examples. You can find the whole list on their website and socials. So now the token. Panther Protocol will issue a token with the ticker ZKP. It will be the platform's native utility and governance token. It will be used for many things, such as paying protocol fees or paying for transaction fees on the DEX or voting in the decision-making process of the Panther DAO. ZKP is a finite max supply of 1 billion tokens. As you can see from the slide, 25% of the tokens were allocated to investors at different stages, collecting about $35 million, with a vesting period that goes from 6 months for public sale investors to 36 months for seed. 20% was allocated to team and advisors, 10% to foundation, and 45% to protocol. Such a large token allocation is safe for protocol because ZKP will be used to reward several actors of the protocol. First, there's the privacy miners for providing Z assets to the Panther pool that could be viewed as a specialized form of liquidity mining. Trust providers will also be compensated in ZKP for providing KYC and AML-like attestations about users. Last but not least, a share of the tokens will fund the Panther DAO in future improvements and developments. Initial circulating supply will only be 11%, and that is 110 million tokens. Public sale price will be $0.40, cents, so the initial evaluation in public sale is $44 million. That is a pretty low figure for such a project, but of course, what we say is never intended as financial advice. Well, that about wraps it up. We've reached the end of the video review. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media for more video reviews, articles, project demos, AMA sessions. Please let us know in the comments what you think of Panther Protocol. All details about the project are, of course, in the description. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.